This is video number four. So the mouth guard has cooled enough to finish, do the finishing trim. So you're gonna carefully remove it by pulling down on the uh, mouth guard as you would a retainer to remove it from your mouth so it does not snap your teeth off. So once you remove that, we're gonna do our finish trim. You have two options. You could use the fine scissors to do your finishing trim and to get that rough edge off and to bring the mouth guard down a little bit more to be underneath the uh, fold on the model. Or you can use the buffalo knife, which we have different brushes for that. I'm gonna use the flame first to show you on this right side. So I'll trim a little bit more. Make sure it's how I want it to be. Check it on the model. Make sure it's below and it's not gonna rub on the patient's lip. I'm gonna take it off. I would use the flame. I always wanna check this and make sure it's full. So I would turn it upside down. I grab the butane, there's a little hole in the bottom. I push insert. Once it starts bubbling, that means it's full. So that is ready to go. Remove that from the area. To use the flame, you push down on the back. Keep your top lever in the center. Your side black lever should be in the center. Just push it down, lock it in with the red. I would then grab my mouth guard, put it in the flame a little bit with wet, cold fingers. I'm gonna run over it to smooth it. And I would do that all the way around. Okay, not getting my fingers in the flame. Once I've gone around the whole side that I have finished trimmed with the scissors, and we will just do part of this for the demo, I'm gonna set it right back on the model so that can cool and not deform. And I wouldn't kick it up to do any more of the flaming for at least a minute to make sure that it's totally cool so I don't have any de deformation. If I'm going to use the buffalo knife, which actually we're gonna use lab polishing brushes in that, these are specific for lab. They do not need to be sterilized. These are all clean, but you can do this chair side in the clinic. You would plug in the buffalo machine. We would uh, insert the brush. There is a gray or black for coarse or medium that I would use first. So I'd insert it in and I'm gonna turn to tighten, pull on it, make sure it's in. I'm gonna make sure this is on foot control. I have a foot pedal on the floor and you could do it forward or reverse with safety glasses on. I am then going to take it, turn it on and I'm gonna lightly go over the edge to take off that extra material and then no flame is needed. Just lightly going over that. And it's taking down that edge on that mouth guard. I would then finish with my rough, coarse or medium. Remove that and I'd put in the copper brush, which is the fine, to do my finish trim. What I would recommend after doing your finish fine trim, because you will get a rough, non-shiny, I would dip it in some water to rinse it and then I would flame, and then after it's on the model, again, I would take the flame and just go over it to take fingerprints out and to shine it up. And it's a nice glossy for the patient.